ever wished your personal AI could search the web like Google? What if I told you it's not just possible but surprisingly simple? Stay tuned to transform your AI bot into a search wizard with Mind Studio's custom functions. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel and to our second video in the Build Your App series presented by Mind Studio. Think of your AI bot like a super detective in a comic book. It's already pretty smart solving problems and answering questions. But what if we give it the superpower by adding Google search? It's like giving your detective a magic magnifying glass that can find answers from all over the internet, not just from its own brain. And all of this is possible without having to know any coding knowledge. It's awesome. Let's dive in. So first we'll go to the website of Mind Studio. I'll leave the link of the website in the description box below. Once you come here, you'll see this interface. Just create your free account. After creating your free account, you can either explore the showcase to see the various apps created by other developers or you can straight away go ahead and create your own app. So I'll click on My AIs. Then I'll click on New AI. Then I'll see this blank slate. So here first, as we have gone through this interface before, on the left side is all the function box. In the center is the prompt center and, and on the right is where the prompts are tested. So right now, since we are creating a new AI, the central part is completely blank. So if you come down here at the bottom, you can ask it to generate prompts. So I'll just click here on generate prompt. And here it asks me to describe what I want to create. So I'll just write. So here I've written, I want the assistant to perform a Google search based on the input provided by the user. Do not interpret the result. Just perform a Google search and display the output and I'll click on generate. So based on my basic description, the entire prompt section will be created here as you can see. So it's gone ahead and created the basic description, the task, the constraints and the output formatting. Once this is done, I'll come here and click on automation. And this is a blank slate. So here you can see the start button. So I'll come here and click on plus. Then I'll click on collect input so that my chatbot can collect the input from the user. Then I'll come here and click on plus. Then I'll come here and click on create new. Then I'll come here and click on type. I'll change this to short text. The variable will, the variable will remain as input. Then I'll change the label text. What do you want me to search? Question mark. I'll let the placeholder text remain blank. Then I'll upload an image which I've downloaded from the internet just to make it a, just to make this little, a little lively. And my image has been uploaded. Then I'll go back to main flow and once again I'll come here and click on plus. Then I'll click on run function to access the custom function. I'll come here and click on browse community functions. Then I'll go down and I'll, and I'll click on this Google search basic. I'll click on import. Then I'll come here again and search query. I'll write in double curly braces. This is very important. Do remember to use double curly braces. I'll write input. And I'll close the double curly braces. And in the output variable, I'll write result. Once this is done, I'll once again click here on plus. Click on send message. Then I'll click on the send message block. I'll come here. I'll write print double curly braces result, which is the name which I had given to the output variable here in the Google search. If you see here, we have given, we have named the output variable as result, which I have just once again pasted here. And that's it. We are done. So now I'll come here and click on this title box so I can name this Google search test. Here you can give a short description if you need and the landing page is enabled. That's it. Once all of this is done, just come here and click on preview to preview this before you go ahead and publish it. Google search test open. So I'll just open this. This is the preview box. This is the image of Google and here it asks me what do you want to search. So I'll just type mobile phones and I'll click on next. And here you can see the chatbot is using Google to search the input term which was mobile phones and very soon it shall display the result to, a, result to us. Here you can see on the right already the, already the results are coming up. We are just waiting for the output to come up here. And here, here is the result. So when I gave it the input mobile phone, the chatbot has searched Google and it has given me the following results with links to various websites from its search. So this seems to be working perfect. 
Once you're satisfied, come here and click on these three dots. Once again, go and click on edit. And since everything is all right, you can just go ahead and click on publish. And for, for now, let's select the free plan. And if you come back in your My AI section, you can see the bot is ready here. I'll just click on this. You can also share a link of your bot on your social media accounts. If you enjoyed this video, you will enjoy this video which is coming up here on the screen where we have covered the basics of My Studio app and where we have also seen that My Studio Suite has plenty of existing templates which can be very easily remixed as per your need to create your own bots instead of starting from scratch. Do check it out. Thank you for watching this video. I will continue to strive to make more such videos where we can see how we can leverage the power of AI for our greater good. Thank you and see you in the next video.